21 minutes before 8 right now. For some college football teams, success is measured in how many bowl games they play. But for one school in our nation's capital, greatness on the gridiron comes with a break-even season. Here's how Frank Herzog, sports director of WJLA-TV in Washington, reported the story a couple of weeks ago. For 55 years at Gallaudet College, some things have never changed. The cheerleaders have used sign. The offense has used a drum to signal the snap, and the football team has come up a loser. 55 years of losing for a school where students fight every day against imposing odds. This is first-year coach Bob Westerman, the first full-time coach ever at Gallaudet. He's brought a new intensity to football here. What the hell did I tell you, Robert? Both hands on the ball! Both hands on the ball! And he's brought a new challenge. Before the 1985 season began, he told his team that a winning year would mean something new. Saturday, fourth quarter against St. Francis. Quarterback Oscar Valencia hits Pat Hudson on a 15-yard touchdown pass. A touchdown pass that not only gives Gallaudet a 17-13 victory, their fifth win of the year, and their first winning season in 55 years, but it produces something else. I wanted to give the kids some kind of a goal. And so I, did, I just said it at the first team meeting. I promise you guys, if you win five football games, then you got the right to shave my head. <laughs> hey, Joe! It's gone, it's gone. No, no, not here, no, no. In there. The crowd milled around outside. Wife Debbie began to worry. I'm glad that he's fulfilling what he told the team, but I'm not going to exactly want to see a bald husband. Meet athletic director Bob Westerman and his new hairstyle. This head represents a change in Gallaudet College's football history. We waited 55 years to achieve a winning season. And now you have it. Be proud. Walk home. And joining us this morning, Coach Bob Westerman. Uh, well, some of it's growing in, because uh, that was a few weeks ago. He's the athletic director you just heard about. And one of the stars of the team, the center, James Gardner. James, by the way, is hearing impaired. Also joining us is Lauren Margolin, who is signing for us this morning. James, congratulations. Thank you. Great season. Coach? Sensational. Thank you very much. Uh, how confident were you when you made that challenge at the beginning of the year that you were going to wind up without hair? To be very honest with you, I really did not think we'd achieve a five-win season in our first year. Um, my purpose for doing it, I wanted to give the kids a challenge to work for. All right. Uh, I knew we were going to confront a lot of difficult times during the season, and uh, we did. And they met the challenge. James, how important was this season to you to come up five and five? Well, um, it was my first year in college, and I never entered school for the first time and went a winning season thing first year I entered college. And when Westman had offered that um, goal for the, if he had went five and five, they would have traded his hair. And just more than the one that was so bad, I waited for so long to do something to him. So finally I did. <laughs> if, if he had said, you have to win six games, and then I'll shave my head, what would have happened this season? I, I was hoping that we would have won this. <laughs> <laughs> what did this do for the student body? Uh, what's the attitude now among the students about football? What, what is it like at football games now that you've had this good season? Well, there's so many people around the school now I'm talking about the football team. I mean, it's not like before. I mean, once students heard about the game, lost, they'll leave it alone and don't talk about it. But right now you see people walk around as if you join football or what, if you wait up, what position you play, what game you had the next day or the next week. I mean, it's just that when you walk around so much about guys that football and I've happened before. What's the toughest thing about being hearing impaired and playing football, having a football team of hearing impaired people, what's the toughest thing? Well, uh, the hardest thing for us is on offense. That if we call a play, 
We go up instead of the defense come out ready to go. They they our play, they might change their defense, but we can't change that often because it takes time but they know what to do, where to move. So we just go ahead with what play we call with first. So we just go ahead with that play. It makes it tougher to adapt. How yeah. important has this been to the school coach? Oh, it's, it's really caused a lot of excitement on the campus at Gallaudet this year. Uh, a lot of fans, a lot of excitement, and I think it's really given our students a, a real sense of pride in Gallaudet College. And that's real important. Coach, good to meet you. Congratulations. Same here. James, congratulations to you and to all of you at Gallaudet. Thanks, Lauren. And we'll be back uh, with Dr. Tim Johnson. Report on.